Number 11 is a geometry question and it's asking us what is the radius of a circle whose area is 36 pi? Here, we must know the formula for the area of the circle in order to solve this question. But then since we are talking about a circle, we will begin by drawing a circle first. And I'm just going to draw this circle first. And what we need is the center of the circle. So we'll just put that in the middle. And from the center to the circle, this right here, it's the radius. And then we need to know the area. The area means the amount of space that you have inside of the circle. And then the formula is this. A, which stands for area, is going to be pi. It's a constant number, you know, 3.1415. It's also on the calculator. But we'll just keep it as pi. Pi times the r value, the radius, raised to the second power, just like this. This is the formula for the area of the circle. And you should check out my next video just in case the question is asking us for the circumference of the circle. There's another formula for that. But then we'll finish this up. We'll use a is equal to pi times r to the second power. And this is how I would like to show you guys how to do this. We know that we're trying to get 36 pi. You see the formula has the pi already. Now you just have to figure out what r should be. And that's the question, isn't it? And then you just have to ask yourself, what number to the second power will give you 36? Well, what times itself will give you 36? I'm not going to use 2 times 18 because those two numbers have to be the same. 2 is, of course, different than 18. We know that 6 times 6 will give us 36. And that's exactly the radius that we need in this case. And let me just show you the check. If the radius that we know is 6, after plugging 6 in here, we will have pi times 6 raised to the second power. And what do we have to do first? We worked out the exponent, the 6 to the second power first. And 6 to the second power, 6 times 6, that will give us 36. We usually like to put the number down first, and then the constant pi afterward. And as you can see, a is equal to 36 pi. That fits exactly the condition of the question. Therefore, we know that the r, the radius, has to be 6. And that's the answer choice C right here. But then I would also like to show you guys the more algebra way to solve this question. Once again, I'll begin by writing down the formula. a is equal to pi times r squared. And this is a typical way of solving an equation in an algebra course. We know the area is equal to 36 pi. So I'm going to put 36 pi for a, and we will have 36 pi, and that will be pi right here times r to the second power. And then we see that this is 36 times pi, and then on the right-hand side of the equal sign, we have pi times r squared. What we do is we first divide both sides by pi. And then we can cancel this pi and that pi. Cancel this pi with that pi. In another word, the pi doesn't really matter. And then what we'll get is the 36 is right here, and then that will be equal to some number r to the second power. And then r squared is equal to 36. To solve this, what we do is we square root both sides. Because the square and the square root can cancel each other out. And then square root of 36, we know that will be 6. And then you see 6 is equal to r. And then usually, when we square root both sides, we will put a plus minus to a number. But in this case, we're talking about geometry. So we just keep the positive number. And you see, 6 is equal to r. Of course, you can say r will be 6. And that's pretty much how we got that as well. And as I said, this is just a more algebra way to do the question. But at the moment, if you're more comfortable with like, thinking backwards, you should definitely think about this way. And let me know which way do you guys like better. That's it for this question though.